In this video, we are going to try to solve the differential equation y prime is equal to ky. And you may say, why do we need to? How is this, how is this applicable to real life? And in fact, this thing has a variety. This thing has a wide range of applications. And this thing applies whenever you have exponential, exponential growth or decay. Growth or decay. Let me give you some examples. You can have you can have increasing population. You can have population growth, population growth, where the population is population is doubling every second. So at zero second, the population can be one. At one second, the population can become two. At two seconds, the population can become four. At three seconds, it can be eight, and so on. So in this case, you have exponential growth, and you can also have radioactive decay. Radioactive decay. If you have a radioactive isotope with half-life, with half-life of let's say 10 years, what's going on? You start with some amount of isotope. After 10 years, you only have half of it left. After 20 years, you have another half of the half of it left. After 30 years, you're going to have another half, and so on. In this case, it's going to be exponential decay. And obviously, you can tell there are going to be more applications and I want to mention one more before we dive into solving this differential equation and that is compound interest. When you borrow money from the bank, it is usually on the basis of compound interest, not simple interest. And there is a famous formula for compound interest, p times e to the rt. And this thing also follows exponential growth. Now let's get to solving y prime is equal to ky. And again, the reason yeah, the reason we want to solve this is because it has applications. And whenever you have exponential growth or decay, the what's going on can always be modeled by y prime is equal to ky. You can always find k when you have exponential growth or decay, such that rate of change of quantity, y of change, remember, y prime is rate of change of y and y is quantity. When rate of change of quantity is proportional, proportional, and proportional means you're multiplying by some constant k, proportional to the quantity itself, to the quantity itself. And all this is telling you rate of change is derivative, rate of change of quantity is y prime, proportional means you're multiplying by k to quantity, which is y. So whenever rate of change is weight of change of quantity is proportional to quantity itself, you have exponential growth. Now let's solve this differential equation. Easiest way of doing it is by writing it in a uh, Leibniz notation, dy dx is equal to ky, and separating variable. Let's move y over to the side where you have dy. So let's divide by y, getting you 1 over y dy, and let's move dx over to the other side. So you have k times dx. Now you integrate. What's integral of 1 over y dy? That's natural log of absolute value of y. What's integral of k dx? That's k times x plus c. Obviously, you have another c associated with natural log of absolute value of y. But when you have two constants, that's the same thing as one constant. So you only have to write the constant once. And I'm going to write it on this side. And let's call it c sub 1. And you're going to see why for the sake of simplicity, to cancel out natural log. Remember, what are we trying to do? We are trying to find y as function of x. You want to find solution to this differential equation in the form y equals to function of x. So how can we, how can we cancel out natural log? By doing inverse of natural log, which is raising it to power of e to cancel this out. So you have e to the absolute value of y is equal to e to the kx plus c sub 1. And you know, when you have e to the something plus something, you know, let's, let's say e to the a plus b, that's the same thing as e to the a times e to the b. This is from algebra 1, properties of exponent. So let's break this apart. This thing is same thing as e to the kx times e to the c sub 1. And I made a mistake here. It should be just natural log of y because e and natural log canceled out. So you have absolute value of natural log of absolute value. Absolute value is equal to e to the kx times e to the c sub 1. Now, how do you find y? By doing plus or minus. Whenever you have natural log of y is equal to, let's say, 2, 
Y can either be 2 or negative 2. So Y is plus or minus this quantity. So you're going to do the same thing. Plus or minus E to the, let me start by writing C sub 1, times E to the KX. And realize this, C sub 1 is a constant. It's not going, it's a, it's a static value. So E to the C sub 1 is constant. And uh, changing the sign of a constant still makes it remain constant. So this entire thing is constant. That's, that's important to remember. So the entire thing becomes constant C, and you have E to the KX. So we have it. What's our solution to Y prime is equal to KY? Our solution is Y equals to C times E to the KX power. And that's it.